Everything that I've gotten so far for my power system has had some sort of damage on it. This is my charger. Not a big deal, but you can see there's like a little ding. This power panel is made from fire resistant three quarter inch plywood and I fabricated a steel battery holder at 12 volts, 400 amp hours. This battery has 4.8 kilowatt hours. A Tesla may have 80 to 100 kilowatt hours. Plastic is a lot more insulating than glass. Here in the battery area, the fuse that I got from Kicker, silver plated, really nice fuse. So this is what came from the factory, it was like this. Ran my cable, I put the fuse on the open spot, open spot still for an even bigger fuse if I need it. I bent the tab down right here. All the tabs here are bent down. Two open ground tabs. It's in there, like swimwear. Let me double check this. Pretty good, I need your help though. Oh, that looks right. Now that looks solid. Look at that, it looks like factory. Yeah. Cleanly ran. Yep. Go up on top. Get pure copper terminals. Definitely don't want anything with aluminum. You wanna use proper tools for all of this. Do as I say, not as I do. Take off this much of the terminal so it can go in all the way. The outer jacket of the wire is the insulation. Cut that all the way around, roll it. I don't wanna do any kind of slicing all the little strands. It tells me gauges and what fuse sizes to use in the manual. Larger gauge is the smaller number. Ugh. And then we're, there we go. See, you can already see strands that I cut. Twist it nice and tight. Like, oh shoot, it sparked. Let me make sure that I'm doing this right. Starting battery second. If your heat shrink tube doesn't fit over the end of your connector, you're gonna wanna make sure to put this heat shrink tube on first. Here's my crimpers, 50, 60 bucks. Link in the description. These are gonna make your job so easy. Open them up, really heavy. Fits right in there, nice and snug. Twisting it here to the proper gauge, different gauges. It's in there really nicely, like a saddle. All the way in, hold it nice and tight in there. Crimp down. Perfect little crimp. Be really careful with these positive wires. Everything metal attached to the chassis of your car is negative. So if I touch this to any metal in this car, it's gonna, well, fortunately, I put that fuse. It's gonna blow that fuse. If you don't have a fuse on every positive wire, you can have a fire. Battery charger with MPPT, link in the description. This temperature sensor is most important when it's freezing below 32 degrees. You don't want to charge it anymore. It could ruin the battery. Make sure you're buying pure copper wire. I think I messed up. Inside of these wires looks silver. Copper plated aluminum wire. The fuse for the uh, inverter. Fuse everything off of the positive. Devices that need a lot of power. What are those marks you got on your arm? A circle with a big dot in the middle of it. I've been over here five minutes. Just started working. He's watching me work. If there's strands on there, I'm like twisting the strands. I've got these. No different than what I already have. When I saw that was a circle, this is open. Cool. Thanks. Having somebody looking over your shoulder telling you everything you're doing needs to be done differently <laughs> could be a little draining and it is gonna work. It's not that I don't appreciate the suggestions. I get this negative energy. I know there's a lot of people out there that have experienced this situation, and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I love my dad. Keep things positive. Forever to figure out how to do my power system, taking my time, researching, not being in a rush. I've had that luxury. There's no deadline for this. Instructions that Renogy sent me is not the instruction online. Online PDF had way more detailed instructions. It said to use four zero, pure copper, four zero gauge wire. Look at the thick, dude. I wish I had that kind of girth. Thickest wire I've ever worked with. I don't have anything to cut this. I'm probably gonna try to cut it with a hacksaw. I got this on Amazon. It came with the lugs and it came with the heat shrink tube. Really good. That copper look. Looking in the ends, like that is definitely not aluminum wire. These lugs need to be bent. No clearance, like butter. Just gonna go a little bit, make them all the same. Excuse me. Yeah, you said that. Sorry. 
it go like an edge. Came right off. Yeah. I think I feel like I got a piece of copper in my thumb. Oh my gosh, this is impossible. I got it. <clears throat> All the way out. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. I like Once these are in place, there's no moving this. I made sure that these are lined up correctly. Battery to the switch. Ow. Ow. This is the last lug I'm gonna need, I hope. Do as I say, not as I do. This aluminum may have been a huge mistake. Aluminum conducts electricity. These cables right here are positively charged. If they make contact, I'm in trouble. I should have just stuck with wood. These are all my cables that I just made. So thick and heavy. 3000 watt inverter can power a lot of stuff. I'm not connecting the ground yet because I'm not actually gonna use the inverter it says I have a 87.2% charge. This 400 amp hour battery came from electric car parts. It only cost me 1900 shipped. Carl Clark that started the company. He started the company because the first electric car from GM, EV1, first production electric car. When Bush got elected, the second Bush, they destroyed all the EV1s. Carl Clark started Electric Car Park Company because he really believed in electric cars. He has the sweetest wife, Lillian Clark. Power Control Dynamics. If you're looking for this panel on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. It's for the AC breakers. And then down there, DC fuses. So you have both your AC and your DC. It only costs 50 bucks. Here on the back, which breakers I can use. You know what this is? A wire for my AC, circuit breakers, and plugs. Buds in like that thing. The main must feed this bar. Hold this bar up, a little bit wiggly. Hold it up like that when I'm snapping them in. They're in there. They're not falling out. I'm gonna shake around when I'm driving. Figure something out. 10-3 gauge to come out of the inverter. I checked the charts for 30 amps. 10 gauge is good. This is a really short run up to the power box. Means I don't need as thick a wire. I took one of these off, took it into the hardware store, and 10-3 cord was the thickest cord that I could actually fit in here. Oh, it's just barely squeezing in. I just really wanted to use cord instead of Romex. Romex is indoor wire. This cord can be used outdoors. I consider inside of the van more like outdoors because of the extreme temperature changes. Holes that come out of these things are round and Romex is flat. You can't put a square block in a round hole. My main coming off the inverter. The black wire, that's your live wire, into the top of the breaker right here. Doing your own electricity has to be the ultimate, ultimate jack of all trades. You could die. Come on. Come on, baby. You gotta talk nice to it. See, that's all it takes. You just gotta be nice. And you'd be surprised what you could get done in this world. Talk to inanimate objects. Give them the respect they deserve. This thing could kill me. I loosened it up. I slipped the wire behind the plate that's right there. Now it's in there tight. It ain't coming out. I do not want to listen to that while I drive back down the road. A green wire, that's the ground bar, bus bar. That's the neutral bus bar. Green wire, put it onto the green bus bar, and then the white wire into the bus bar with the white wire. Not complicated. I was reading the manual. You're not supposed to mount this thing this way. You're not supposed to mount it this way. You're supposed to mount it flat because you have the fan, the fan opening here, and there's a fan opening over here. And you don't want particles and dust to go down in there. Cover this up so that stuff doesn't get in there. And I also read in the instructions, you don't have to hook up the battery temperature sensor if you're using a lithium ion battery for the inverter. You definitely need it for the charger here. Uh, and I'm really surprised because this is also a charger. It's relying on your battery to have battery temperature sensor in the BMS because you're not supposed to charge a lithium ion battery if it's freezing to stop this shaking. I take this rubber band that came off the wire spool, wrap it around these breakers. Batteries in both my cameras died. Input or the output wired in, 
the input wired in, shore power, or the house, in other words, the ground is now connected. My first AC outlet. I cut this and I shrunk it down because it was a little too deep. And now I need to daisy chain the wires. I'm gonna do, see there's a green, a white, and a black? Wide plug side, the left side. That's where you put the neutral, the white. And then the live positive wire, which is black, goes on the right side, which is the small prong. Green connects to, there's actually a green screw. Green goes to the ground, the round hole. Took this out of my cord. Connect these all together, the whites, the greens, the blocks, get it all the way around. The direction that you're tightening it, because it's gonna pull on it, so you don't want it. It's gonna screw it up if you don't. Do it the wrong way, you'll notice. The wire won't stop moving. Twist it. The rat tails, I don't, whatever electricians call these. The main wire cord is wired into this one. That's why they have two screws on each side, because now my rat tail or whatever come off the second screw. Got them all wired up. Really not very bright. Can't see what it says. Uh oh, no power. Oh, the breakers aren't on. Okay. What? Why did it turn off? If it's not doing anything, it doesn't need the fan on. I'll turn on the main. Plug back there. This is the fun part. Oh, the AC's on. Blowing. Turn it down to 69. Still says 100% charge. There it goes. You can run your vent fans and bring cool air in, but once the fan's hot, it's gonna be that way for a while. And it's not a hot enough day. Go somewhere where it's like 100 degrees out. See how long the battery lasts. I'm so psyched. Chilling in the AC. Set at 69 degrees. 119 volts off the battery. On for 10 minutes. Still have 99.1% charge. Some people may call this living in a van. I call this living in the lap of luxury. Getting a little too cold in here. It's in the 60s in here. It's like 69, 68. We used 3% battery. The air conditioner was on for 50 minutes. What do you think it is outside, like 75? 73. We'll do some more tests. I'm waiting a long time for this day. Install my Propex heater. There's so much dust on this thing. I haven't really looked at the instructions. I watched a few videos on it. This is the scary part. Gonna drill holes in the floor. Look at how black that thing got. 